www.bettingplanet.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139 and support independent, patriotic Liberty Films. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full-acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com, or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. All right, Rob Jacobson does film editing here in the office and research. I'd seen it in the news, but he brought it to me and pointed out that they're having massive suicides at the big plant in China that makes the iPads and iPhones. And because they're making them work like 16, 17 hours a day. And because they're committing suicide and everything's falling apart and it's total slavery. Apple now makes them sign a contract that they won't commit suicide. And if they even or show any mental illness. So if you argue, you're taken to a mental institution. So this is psychological tyranny and total slavery. And it's actually got the quotes in the Fox News article. So I briefly wanted to bring... Rob Jacobson up on the phone system uh, to uh, break down his views on it, because he said it so well uh, during that short break. Then I'm going to cover the economy briefly, then to your phone calls, then Walter Burian. Go ahead. Uh, hi, Alex. I got this article right here. Uh, Apple maker Foxconn steps up anti-suicide drive. And the very first line in the article says, Apple manufacturer Foxconn Wednesday urged workers to sign contracts promising not to kill themselves for a STEM uh, to stem a spat of suicides. Um, later on in the article, near the end of this one article, some guy uh, who works at the plant actually was quoted as saying, if I bicker with my supervisor, I'll be sent to a mental hospital. And then the plant themselves follow up by saying, uh, this guy, uh, there is no shortage of people trying to get through the Shenzhen gates. The company says around 8,000 people apply to work at the factory every day. So here you have 300,000 people working in this Foxconn factory in China, which they admit they have uh, people from all over remote areas of China applying for jobs. They immediately, the moment they get a job there, they have to wave their rights away, meaning that they know that they are going to be over-houred, underpaid, and all this stuff so that the Chinese regulations don't apply to them. And now that all these people have been worked to death, they're committing suicide, they're using that as an excuse to have them sign even more kind of draconian um, uh, waiving their rights against them, which means that if they bicker with their supervisor, there's no argument. There's no... Time. And this there's is no the essence of the New World Order. Create inhuman conditions... Then when you rebel, they clamp in with even more dehumanization. Then there'll be more suicides. Then everyone will have to be drugged. And remember, 
all of the Apple iPad and iPhone knockoffs are costing on average half of what the Apple does. The Apple, I've read, the iPad may have $60 in it. An iPhone may have $20 in it. Giant, huge profits for Al Gore on their board, for Steve Jobs. But because they say they're liberal and are for carbon taxes, the left loves it. The most abusive factories, the most evil. And it's just totally, absolutely sickening. And this is how it works. And so I've got to come out against the iPhone and the iPad uh, you know, even though they're nice products, uh, I mean, this makes Nike look like angels. And, and, and this is a perfect example. And America will soon be like this. We're being destroyed by globalization. China is the lowest of the low. They are the great sucking sound. That's where everything that's sucked down the globalist toilet ends up with these poor human beings. I mean, have you seen the Microsoft photos of, of, of everybody asleep? Uh, you know, sleeping during their break in their 20-hour work days inside that facility, uh, that photo that came out a few weeks ago? Yeah, I see it. And in fact, there's an article sitting right outside uh, your studio where there are photographs of these people standing there for eight hours a day. Some of them have to drop things just to give their legs a rest. Um, some of them complain about they, they don't even feel like they're human anymore. It's obviously this top corporate, you know, scheme to get these people to work like robots by the way they work a lot more than eight hours china routinely they work 18 hours in some cases i mean they have firework factories where part of public school the kids have to work three days a week uh yeah. look at this foxcom opens plant to reporters after suicides another foxcom employee dies in china media ninth worker death in iphone factory uh, that's in taiwan uh, and it just shows these people. Plus, it's the chemicals. I mean, when I drilled uh, that 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 iPad, all that you were here, you saw that weird yeah. poison smoke that came out. And in fact, I, I understand that there is an article. I mean, Apple has been caught a lot of times uh, with these weird cancers coming out of their factories years ago. They know about all these weird chemicals they put in these places, uh, in these machines, these weird, uh, you know, combination of chemicals, and. Mm, who knows what's going on in this factory with this combination? I mean, 300,000 workers, there's got to be a lot of different uh, chemistry going on that these people are inhaling. And um, if you even complain about it to your supervisor, if you're uncomfortable, if you can't stand anymore, well, the new thing is going to be that you'll be just dragged away to a mental hospital. And according to the factory, they don't really care because 8,000 people apply for work there every single day, which means it's only a matter of time where the people who don't want to sign the thing will be sifted out, and they'll have a full population of people there who have signed this new statement. And then if you're uncomfortable, if you can't stand anymore, if you're inhaling bad chemicals, if you're – no matter what the issue is, they'll just drag you away and replace you with a new one, truly treating you like you – And know, this is globalization. They don't want middle classes that have their own truly sustainable communities – they don't want people that are independent and free and healthy. They love debasing everything to the lowest level so everyone is bankrupt, so everyone can come to them and get the lowest wage. Look what Open Borders and NAFTA and GATT have done to Mexico. They, on according to every research paper out there, Mexico is far worse than they were 17 years ago with the adoption of NAFTA and GATT. It hurts us. It hurts them. It hurts the Chinese. And this is our destruction and, and nothing but pure evil coming out of all these widgets and you know, what we think is cheap. And then buying the cheap goods destroys our industry and it just gets worse and worse. And then we have more environmental standards, which no one can you know put up with. So everything goes to China where there's no standards. And that's why they've been chosen as the model of the new world government where it's literally a system devouring humanity. Paul Watson uh, was on with us earlier with a key article, top construction firm, WTC destroyed by controlled demolition. Uh, we have another a big report up, uh, Corporate Media by Kurt Nemo, uh, uses fraudulent MSNBC transcript to portray Rand Paul as a racist. I think this is libelous that they know it's not what he said and they're going with it. Slanderous defamation. And uh, joining us to talk about the situation with the iPhones, iPads uh, in China and Taiwan uh, is uh, Rob Jacobson with the InfoWars team. Rob, thanks for coming on with us. No problem, Alex. Oh, man, it is just so much going on, but we're covering a lot of info. Okay, your call's coming up in a moment, but I briefly wanted to bring Ted Anderson up. Gold's up over $20 in the last day. 
The globalists have tried to drive it down, but uh, the domino implosion of banks and, and economies worldwide is accelerating, led by the euro, uh, the euro situation. And so I wanted to bring Ted Anderson up to tell you about the gold and silver offers he's got today for people out there that want to start moving out of paper to protect themselves with gold at all-time highs worldwide. Uh, Ted Anderson, good to have you on with us. Yeah, nice to be up again, Alex. Of course, we've seen...